Hey guys, Miss Granado here. Today, now, it's actually the same day, but now I'm gonna tell you what is in these awesome bins that you were also given at Open House, okay? So I'm gonna borrow Vivian's bin right now. So on the top of your lid, this is just a label that came with it. You can peel it off if you want. I've made you a label that has your name, your special student number in my class, our grade level, and my name, okay? And then on one of these sides, not that one, it is clear as you can see so you can see all of your materials in there so I suggest please 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 try to keep all of these materials in the box where they belong and use them only for when it's time for us to have in class okay save these for our classwork because otherwise if you use them up or if you put them somewhere else you might lose them if you have a quiet space you can keep this and your binder together in your desk area your table area or your little office cubby if you have one all right so let me switch my camera so now that you can see what is inside your awesome bins I call these bins I call these um, shoe boxes sometimes I call it a bin with a lid um, some people call it buckets okay all right so here's what's cool as soon as you open your lid inside your lid I have given you some sticker information okay. all right so inside of your lid you will have a Google sticker so this is another place that you can look for your email and your password Okay, then the other sticker, I know the stickers are kind of peeling off and be careful not to keep rubbing on them. I think the ink is not sticking very well. Um, so I've also included some class co codes for some um, websites that you might want to access um, throughout learning or if you are learning offline, if you're doing any asynchronous work or you just want an extra place to go. So here's our Google Classroom code. So Classroom is going to be huge. That's where all your assignments will be. And then I've also given you our class epic code. So that way I'll be able to see how much you're reading and how much you're um, spending time on the activities. And then there's also Zern. And so there's our code for Zern as well. So if you ever need our class codes for our three major websites, you'll have them right here on the inside of your lid. So since your lid comes off, be very, very careful where you're going to place it, okay? What I like to do with my lid, as soon as I'm finished, I place the bin on top so that it stays together. And so I don't accidentally knock the lid off and lose it, okay? Or my dog or my little brother won't go and take it, all right? All right, inside of your bin, there is this big, huge koala sticker label. So it has our new koala logo. We are unstoppable koalas in the huge Superman diamond. Okay, there's a blank space here. You can write your name, you can decorate it, do whatever you want, and then you can peel it off. I'm not gonna peel it all the way because Vivian might wanna stick it to something. But once you peel this, you can stick it on the back of your binder, or the back of your journal, um, anywhere that you'd like to stick it, okay? Or if you wanna just cut out the koala and then stick it to your bin, you can do that too. Totally up to you. All right. Also, there's a little present from me to you. Okay. You also get some really cool, awesome sunglasses. Okay. And it says you're going to shine bright this year in second grade. So bright that we knew we wanted to give you some glasses. All right. So during our Zoom meetings, ooh, ooh. and if that ever happens, all you got to do, click, and then they're back. Okay, so I'm glad that actually happened. I promise Vivian, they're not broken. Boys and girls, if it ever pops up, all you gotta do is pop it right back in like I did. Problem solving. All right, so this pulls off when you're ready to use your sunglasses. So let's say you're in a Zoom meeting with me and you're feeling a little shy and you kinda don't wanna get on the camera. Well, you can put these on and then you're still here. You're still in attendance. I'll give you a dojo point for being here. And then you don't have to feel so shy or embarrassed, okay? Because we really want your camera on, but if you're not feeling so good, you can definitely put these on and kind of hide your eyes for a little bit if you want, okay? Or if you still have some of those sleepy eyes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this back on so that Vivian has her little message, okay? All right, so next, this is also in your bin, okay? This might be new to you, this might not be new to you. These are 100s chips. 
these are tens chips and these are ones chips. So these are place value disks. In Eureka Math, we're going to call them place value disks. I might also call them chips. So what you'll need to do, I've paper clipped some packs for you. I'll tell you when you can do this. You'll need to cut out on these lines so that you'll have these as little cards and they will be your chips. And then I've given you a little baggie to store all of your chips in. All right. I'll tell you more about that later. It's for math. All right, inside you've also got this handy dandy dry erase board. So you have a small erase board in your bin. You also have uh, the paper one that I made you in your binder. And then to go with it, you've got yourself a little sponge, which will be your eraser, okay? There's a rough side, which is the colored side, and then the yellow side is the softer side, okay? So with your dry erase board, you have a dry erase marker. You have different colors. So you will use your, this big fat dry erase marker to write on your boards. And then once you've written something, you can use the yellow side to erase. All gone, okay? You could use the rough side, but I wouldn't recommend it because it might scratch up the board. I would use the softer yellow side. But if this side hurts your hands, you turn it over maybe a different way and you can do the side, okay? All right, so there's your board, dry erase marker, and eraser, all right? We've also given you a cute little pennant. This, oh, let me turn it upside down. All right, so this is a pennant, kind of like a little banner or a flag, and it says Whitehead Road Elementary. So if you want, you can put your name on here. If you have um, some vinyl or stickers you wanna place, this is for you. If you have a small little office that you've created or a quiet space in the room, you can hang this on the wall or you can put this on your quiet space board, all right? All right, I've also given you a sharpener. It's still in the packaging, so um, be really careful when you're opening this. If you use scissors, cut across the top and then just pull apart very carefully so it doesn't hurt you. I've given you four pencils, and um, if you've been in school, four pencils, they are sharpened right now. Pencils break, that's why you've got a sharpener. All right, try to keep these with you. And then, of course, you can always get some more pencils um, from the store if you run out. All right, so along with your pencils and your sharpener, I've given you two erasers. This one is for your pencil. This is the cap, and then this is the big pink eraser um, that hopefully you'll be using. Now, I'm hoping to see these because Miss Granado does like mistakes, because mistakes, if you're erasing things, stuff like that, that tells me you're actually thinking about your work and you're actually trying to do the best work that you can and correct any mistakes that you have. Um, so just remember, mistakes are okay, part of life, it happens. Also, I've given you a glue stick, some scissors, crayons, and then you have this visa V, all right? So the basic school supplies, let me move those aside. Again, everything in here needs to be used just for our lessons when you are with me, okay? Because if you try to use any of those materials, on your own for any other side projects, you might run out and I won't be able to send you another pack. I mean, you can always go buy another one, but that's up to you. All right, so this one is a different type of marker. This is a Visa V marker, okay? You can use this on your dry erase board, uh, not on your dry erase board, sorry. This is good to use when you have a piece of paper that's laminated um, or even your sheet protectors in your binder. So what's great about Visa Vs, is that you can write on them, but once you write on them, oops, well that one worked. Okay. So once you write with the visa V and you let it dry, oh, this one's actually erasing pretty well. It's not supposed to erase very well. If it does erase, that's great. But if for some reason you're writing on your visa V, with your visa V and it's not erasing, notice on the side it says wet erase. So once this dries, it's not gonna be super easy to take off. So if your sponge is not erasing, I would go take your sponge and put a little water on it and then you can erase the visa V, okay? This is the thin skinny marker. Wet erase means you need some water. You, that's why I've given you a sponge, but the regular dry erase does not need water, okay? So just know the difference. 
if you have any questions, I'm sure you can ask your parents. All right, so what am I writing on? So this right here, this looks like a tablet or your iPad. So this right here is just for you if you want to practice with your fingers and you want to practice some typing. I'll turn this over so that I can practice typing, okay? So this is for you to kind of just practice. You won't really see the letters popping up, things like that, but this is great for you to practice, okay? This is a great activity too if you're trying to spell words. Like let's say I'm trying to spell the word koala. This is a great way to practice your spelling just for fun. You can pretend like you're typing on the iPad. I'm gonna keep my fingers where they need to be and look for it. K-O-A-L-A. -A. Okay, you can practice typing. Eventually, you will get a laptop and a computer. And so like me, then you can practice with your keyboard because hopefully starting in second grade, you start learning how to type. Okay, because this is very important. There are certain places you need to have your fingers when you're typing at all times, and you only move certain fingers. You don't always want to keep typing like this with one finger at a time. That's why we've given you this little keyboard so eventually you can practice. Okay, we will have some typing practices later in the year, so just be on the lookout for that. Okay. All right, so notice some markers don't erase as great as the black markers. So if you have a blue, red, or green, you may have to put a little force on it. You can't tell, but I'm kind of pushing on this a little more. Okay, so that's your iPad keyboard. All right, we have two more things in your bin. So I have this tiny little notebook. It's super tiny. So in writing, this is your notebook. You can write your name on it if you want. This is going to be your tiny topics notebook. Notice it's super tiny. It's about the size of my hand, it's smaller. So it's a tiny topics notebook. So whenever there's a special moment in your life or something funny or interesting or sad that happens and you think it would make for a really good story, jot it down. I'll teach you how to use these, and, but you've got a bunch of different pages. Be really careful with it because it's fragile. Fragile means it can break easily. So just take care of it. And then you'll have lots of different pages to jot down ideas or topics that you can write about in writing. So tiny topics notebook. And then I've also given you some cubes. Everybody has a black stack of 10, a red stack of 10, and a white stack of 10, okay? So you have 10, 10, 10. That makes for a total of 30. So you have 30 Unifix cubes. What's really important is try to keep them in stacks of 10. Okay, for our math lessons, we're going to need these and then I'll be able to break them apart. You'll be able to use them for addition. You'll be able to use them for subtraction and a bunch of other things. So whenever you're finished using these, always try to put them back in your stacks of 10 and always back in your bin. All right, so quick review. Here's everything that is in your bin and notice how I put it all back to get, to get it organized. It doesn't matter what order things go into your bin, just as long as the lid will close. So I'm gonna put these back in here these are your Unifix cubes. Here's my typing. I may put it at the bottom because it fits there. My sharpener, my tiny topics notebook, my dry erase board, my pennant. If you don't put it on the wall or hang it up somewhere else, I'm gonna lay it flat. Got all my pencils, my scissors, Important thing about scissors, watch out for the blade. I wouldn't keep it stuck up. I would place the blade down for safety. Your erasers, my crayons, my glue stick, my dry erase marker, my vis-a-vis -vis marker, my eraser, my place value chips, which once I teach you and tell you to cut them, they will just be the baggie. You won't have the big sheet anymore. My sticker, just in case, um, just know you don't have to put it back in if you go stick it somewhere. And then this is also good to keep inside, just your fun, cool glasses. We may do some special um, games or activities with your glasses, so try not to lose them and try not to break them. I would keep them in your bin. But again, you can always take the sign off. All right. so notice my lid was underneath. That's why it was easy for me to just pick up my lid because it was under, snap the two sides, and done. All right, so that's everything in your bin, okay? So if you notice, Ms. Granado calls it your bin with a lid. All right, my supplies bin, my supplies box, that's everything. So try to keep it neat, organized, and together with all your materials.